Good luck. Thanks. Good morning, everybody uh, who is uh, coming into the room, joining us at the moment. Uh, thank you for, uh, for taking the time to, to join us. Um, you should be able to see uh, myself and uh, the wonderful John Horton on screen. Um, if you can hear me, feel free to pop something in the chat box uh, to uh, let us know that you can uh, hear us loud and clear. We're just going to give everybody a, a minute or so to make their way into the room before we kick off. Um, hi, Hilary. Nice to see you. Uh, so we've got people coming in, lots of chat, so everyone can hear us. Um, uh, I wonder if they can hear you, John. I hope so. I hope so too. Yeah. Uh, so we are looking good. Uh, it's 12.31. I'm going to uh, get us underway. Uh, so let me uh, pull up some slides. I'm recording already, which is uh, always a, a good start. Um, and uh, let's get back to the beginning. So welcome, everybody. Thank you for taking the time to join us uh, on this Tuesday afternoon. We normally run these in the morning, so uh, I need to be careful I don't say good morning and all of those kind of things. But uh, um, uh, we run a monthly uh, app of the month webinar. We're delighted that this month uh, unleashed our, our app of the month. Um, and I'm joined uh, today uh, by John Horton. Uh, good afternoon, John. I only said good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, um, so those that don't know who I am, I'll come to John and John can introduce himself and, and Unleashed in just a moment. But for those that don't know me, I originally founded an accounting firm uh, in Norwich, Fine Hill Park. Uh, and uh, coming up to a year ago, we, uh, we, we launched App Advisory Plus. Uh, and our mission really is to help accountancy firms uh, deliver profitable app advisory services, de deliver new revenue streams, um, but most importantly, help their clients get better value out of uh, cloud technology. Um, so, John, uh, we've had lots of conversations over, over the years, so I'm delighted that we finally get to share uh, a webinar stage today. Um, so do you want to give everybody a brief introduction to who you are and who Unleashed are, please? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, I was thinking that actually. I did. Um, I did just look at like my profile on LinkedIn to see how long I've probably known you, and it's about seven years. Is it really? Wow. It, it is. It's about seven years. Uh, but we've only ever spoken properly, I'd say, in like the last eighteen months. So, yeah, yeah crazy. Um, yeah. So my name's John Horton. I'm responsible for partnerships of kind of all sorts here at Unleashed. Mm -hmm. um, I've been with the company for just shy of two years, like a week maybe, two weeks shy of two years. And I've always been in technology and specifically cloud. I used to work for Intuit, which is how I first met Will. Um, but like back in the day, Microsoft, and I have had, a, a, for my sins, a, a really short spell at, uh, God forbid, Sage. Um, and I'm basically responsible here. Uh, well, me and my team are responsible for all, all of the types of partnerships of which uh, primarily it's like the audience today, which is kind of forward thinking advisors who are typically accountants, bookkeepers, and, and sometimes some consultants as well, but primarily kind of the accountancy side of things. Um, from an Unleashed perspective, um, hopefully people have heard of us. Um, we do, uh, you know, we're, we're generally perceived as being the kind of a de facto inventory app when it comes to zero. Like if you were to look at us on kind of a marketplace, you'd see, I think we're up to about 300 like good reviews, maybe four and, and a John, half, we, 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 don't, we don't talk about zero marketplaces because we have a far better one, of course. So, uh, oh, okay. Um, yes. Marketplace and directory is, is, is much oh, more. The, the rubbish zero <laughs> directory. Um, yeah. So, so like we are synonymous with inventory and product businesses and like our kind of tagline is that we help product businesses make, manage and move their products better. It's, it's basically minimizing the administrative uh, burden a product business has and we allow them to do more with a lot less resources. That's Great. kind of, in a nutshell, what we do. Excellent. Uh, and uh, today we're going to cover. We're going to we're going to try and do two things. Um, so, firstly, we are going to dispel some myths around inventory apps. Uh, and secondly, uh, if you don't have it already, we want to help you build confidence uh, in terms of having a conversation with your your product based clients. Um, uh, in introducing the, the concept of, of using uh, Unleashed um, for, for those clients. 
Um, so I'm really looking forward to this myth busting thing we're going to do here, John. Um, because if I go back, uh, I don't know, 12, 18 months, perhaps, perhaps a bit longer than that in fairness. Um, and I would listen to people and we were talking about kind of apps and, and ecosystems and everything else. And lots of people always said, I'm kind of really confident with uh, implementing, I don't know, job management, time management apps. But inventory, oh no, I don't, don't, want, don't want to do inventory. It's, uh, uh, it's really complicated. It takes forever. Um, you need to be a specialist to, to, to implement uh, inventory apps. Um, so that's right, is it? Uh, so like, it can be. Like, it, it definitely can be true. Um, that, like, so we've got implementation partners, absolutely. You know, people like... Uh, like Phil Oakley, I don't know if you come across him here, Ounce of yeah. Web and Aston It Result are probably like the big two that, that you'd have heard of, who are also, well, certainly Ounce of are like the authorized uh, zero app integrators. So yeah, absolutely. They're great guys. They do a great job. And like for complicated businesses, um, yeah, I, I definitely recommend checking them out and having a conversation with them. But like that is a tiny proportion of the businesses that we work with. Um, I forget the stat. It's, it's certainly like high 90%, like 97, 98% of the businesses that we work with do not go through um, an implementation partner or a, or a specialist partner. Um, they, they kind of speak to either um, one of our direct team, one of our direct consultants, or um, like they, they come through an advisor like yourself who maybe has a bit of an understanding about Unleashed, but not all of the nuances. So no, it, it can be complicated, but for the most part, no, it's not complicated. Okay. So, uh, so let's, let's think about some of these myths and see if we can, we can kind of um, unpick, unpick them. So, uh, uh, so why is it everybody thinks um, uh, inventory is complicated to start off with? Because that's the reason that people think, oh, I can't do it myself. Um, I've got to use uh, an expert because it's yeah. I, 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 I mean, there's there's several reasons for it. I don't think there's like like one magic bullet answer to that. But um, for, for me, it's it's a case of. Uh, like it, you know, in, in times gone by, people have looked at accounting just from an accountancy software perspective. That perhaps accountants haven't looked at, or maybe not felt comfortable talking about the operational side of the business. So when you look at um, the features of something like Unleashed, we go far and away above and beyond what something like Zero could do. And so there might be a bit of a fear factor around. Actually, I, I'm not used to having those operational conversations with clients. I'm happy about talking about profitability and balance sheets and all of the good things that you guys do um yeah. maybe not so confident oper on the operational side of things yeah and and i mean i guess linked to that is this this whole idea about cost so if we're if we're thinking about um uh, implementing an inventory system then it's going to be five figures uh, and and i'm sure you've heard it before accountants come along and say we've got a client are using sage desktop um and the lack of of product management um, in, uh, in zero means that we can't move them and we'd love to, but they're not going to spend on inventory uh, implementation. Um, so and that, that, that's, I'm sure you hear that all the time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and that's definitely not like, like an uncommon conversation that we'd have. Um, like, like for the most part, like a, a great example, actually it was is one of the people who commented on one of your LinkedIn posts um, about the fact that we've been really supportive with them, with one of their clients that they're looking to implement and leash with. And this goes back to maybe ZeroCon a couple of years ago where I met uh, the gentleman at ZeroCon, we'd had a chat and, you know, it's one of these things, it just takes a time really to kind of gain that momentum and the, the accountant, the advisor to, to feel confident. And he kind of tapped us in because he wanted to go for the 100% zero award. Um, and he had a couple of stragglers still like old school businesses still using Sage 50, you know, maybe even like Sage 50 kind of cloud. Um, and, and like the problem with that is it's all well and good, but it, it doesn't really fall like fall into the flow of workflow that you might have now. So if you're using things like zero tax or zero work papers, you know, you've got these outlying clients who are not part of that standard workflow that you've got. Um, so normally it starts with a conversation like that. 
um, the initial call is um, help us. We've got, you know, we've got this rogue client who's still on some old version of line 50 and yeah. th they'd like to move them to zero. Let's have a conversation about that. that that's normally the opener for us. Yeah, and it would have been interesting actually thinking about this now, I and mean, if we'd allowed a bit more time on the webinar to actually get some some kind of views from people that are listening um, around what their preconceptions are around uh, inventory. Um, and you've got the chat box, you've got the Q and A. So if you if you've got anything you want to share with us, that would be really useful, and we can pick that up. But um, what I'm really interested in is is what does a typical um, uh, run of the mill unleashed implementation look like um, because we get these myths around it takes six months to do an implementation yeah. and everything else. So, what does a typical one look like for you? A bread and butter uh, run of the mill implementation in terms of time, complexity, and potential cost. Yeah, and, and I don't think there's like one size fits all. Like we definitely have got clients who have taken six months to, to, to implement. That's definitely not the rule though. Um, the vast majority of the clients, they'd um, approach us directly, um, not through an advisor. So like there's definitely a missed opportunity around actually advising these clients. And I think it goes back to what I said previously about a slight fear of like the operational side of the business and having conversations there. But park that, let's assume that they've approached us us, then like every person who talks to us gets to talk to one of our consultants and I, I know like one of the myths that you hear is um, that um, like these independent consultants are independent and yeah. like it, it's, it's it's a funny one right like on one hand they are because they might work with several different inventory pr providers like, and we obviously only work with Unleashed because we are Unleashed. Um, the flip of that is actually it's not in a lot of these other companies um, best interest to um, like sell you a product which doesn't give any kind of uh, bonus or bounty or referral fee for um, recommending on this it's something that we've never done um, and um, the, the second point is like the, the clients that do and maybe they do um, only uh, offer uh, particular apps which do give them some kind of bounty the second part of it is they obviously want to make it as complicated as possible because the, the goal of a company like that would be to um, you know, charge for consultancy time, which isn't our goal. Our goal, like quite blatantly, is to get lots of happy product businesses using our product, recommending it to our friends, have lots of happy advisors, seeing what happy clients look like, and then evangelizing about Andy. So like, we're really transparent about what it is our goal is, and we, we'd, we'd love for everybody to want to use Unleash. Unfortunately, now, it, it does require an element of discovery of scoping, which a team of our consultants do to actually um, almost play like a game of guess who. And you, you know, like, has he got a mustache? No, he's not. And it's the same <laughs> for us. Like, is it, and it might be worthwhile flicking to kind of the, the, the next slide about um, like the product businesses that we're talking about. Because like broadly, um, it, we're talking about like manufacturing, but not just manufacturing, it's wholesalers and distributors. Um, anybody who is doing that, what you know, like in our tagline, the, the making, the managing, the moving, the products, like it's in the name, like that's the first kind of has he got a moustache if you, you guess who game is is he one of those types of businesses and if so it may be a fit and then what i did is i just looked at um the, the types of businesses that more often than not use unleashed and it, it broadly it falls into these four categories i mean obviously there are others as well um but like food and beverage so you know the number of food and beverage brands we've got using it you know everyone from karma cola to like upstart water things i know at one point we had ugly drinks like brand names you'd see in store use our product so i think product businesses is an overarching theme next step is is it like one of these types of businesses there yeah and and a couple of things i want to pick up on there that you talked about you talked about the the, the, the missed opportunity uh for the for the for the accounting partners um so we'll make sure we come back to that um but you you also mentioned that there's an element of uh, of discovery and scoping and and certainly with the work that, that Rowan's doing in terms of talking to, to firms from an Apple Advisory Plus point of view, this is where the, the true education is needed. Because I think absolutely you need the discovery element, you need the scoping element for, for inventory, but 
you need it for every app implementation you do, yeah. regardless of, of, of whether it's something that potentially, if we believe the myths, is complicated, like, uh, like inventory, or it's something that's slightly more straightforward in terms of receipt processing, payment gateways, whatever it is, we've still got to understand what's the objective uh, and, and what are the things that are important. And, and we've got a real bit of education to do there. And I think that that neatly kind of dovetail into the opportunity that you mentioned, that there's this missed opportunities for firms. Um, how, do they, how do they grasp that opportunity? What are the things that, that they should be doing to make sure that uh, uh, they're not missing that opportunity to deliver value to clients, but ultimately to, to generate revenue for them as a firm as well? Well, yeah, I, th- I think it, like obviously it's awareness that uh, like obviously I'm talking about a niche here, but uh, awareness of the inventory apps, and there are a lot of them. You, you know, there's probably about thirty now, twenty thirty apps on the marketplace, and it can get complicated um, trying to decide which one are which. I mean, if if I were to put kind of my unleashed like flag in the ground and say well uh, you know we're a team of 20 25 now in the uk and yeah. a third of those guys and well and girls are kind of consultants whose job it is to go through that scoping and the discovery and a third of them are support staff um who do onboarding and you know general day-to-day support the other third are people like me like overheads i guess um where where, where we're you know talking to people like you and evangelizing about actually what could have been um so like f- for me it, it obviously starts with the awareness that we even exist yeah. um the, the, the second part of it is to understand the types of clients that you're already working with there's there's some firms um, who are absolutely on it because they are have, you know, it might be a smaller firm and that typically, you know, go wind back the two years ago when I first started with Unleashed, we were talking to a lot of like quite small firms. And I think the reason for that is it was, it was quicker for them to kind of pivot than it would be, you know, like a, a, a top 20 firm maybe yeah. who, who's got an awful lot of other kind of service lines that they, that they, they, they need to look after. But yeah. for me now, like it, it's just an awareness of understanding, you know, have you got the wholesaler? the distributor, the manufacturer, are they of a particular industry would be the first starting point. And then at that point, like we, we and like, I don't want to do like a shameless plug to our app advisory guide um, because I know you guys have got a great service as well. Um, but we do have a document which outlines kind of the, the, the process of creating a, a, a profile. And I, I will flick down to the next slide. Can I, can I do it? Or you... I'll, I'll do that for you. I don't yeah. Know. And, and so, so I did kind of break it down into broadly like, five steps and like it's like not like rocket science this um but like as an example type query i had like only yesterday i think it was um and like this is a direct copy and paste quote and i hope the chap doesn't mind and isn't on this webinar but th- this is as direct as he got was um that the customer or the client buys and sells medical equipment they've one supplier multiple customers and they need different pricing levels could we arrange a demo and, and like, that's how a lot of inquiries come into us, particularly through advisors. Like you, you, at that point, obviously like that's our role then to um, help that particular accountant, that advisor with understanding um, the process that we go through, which is it's typically, we'd, we'd hope that we'd get more information than that. So like my job is to have like a mini scope and mini discovery with advisors so they understand the, the types of questions that they should be asking and the type of information that they probably want to get. And we bundle all of that up as a profile, but like this is not something like that. It's not like rocket science to, to think about that. The profile it is kind of a crucial part of working with that client, but it's just part of what we do, asking questions to get that scoping and discovery work. So it's it's things like um, understanding what systems they're using. So perhaps they are on zero already and they're using a raft of spreadsheets or um, more often than not now, we see a lot of people using like Shopify um, or using maybe WooCommerce, the kind of the, the, the big two names, but there's loads, you know, like there could be 30 other e-commerce platforms from big commerce to um you know uh, square have got squarespace commerce like there's a raft of them you're you're never going to be able to know all of them but it's having enough information about it to be able to do that whole um 
uh, game of guess who you know like it, it, is it like something you've heard of is it woocommerce shopify those are the big two but if, if it's like big commerce then hold on a minute could it be a direct connection between something like unleashed or do you need to go through something like zapier to to, to get those transactions into um yeah. into the platform but and, it, and, it, and certainly the the stuff that that, that we're doing with with uh, uh with accounting firms so that provided plus a lot of the questions we're getting are around around inventory so it clearly is a an area that that firms are identifying an opportunity but are struggling to understand how how they how they move it forward uh, and that point about the, the the next level of integrations because you we, you mentioned the zero marketplace and you go onto the zero marketplace and you can see that unleashed integrates with zero but what you don't get is well, what else does unleashed integrate to on the flip side of that and that's something that we're working quite hard to to kind of identify and and, and share in in our directory i'm conscious of time and yeah. i feel a bit like um uh, i'm on radio Four interviewing a politician because you didn't answer a question that i asked you a little while ago which was okay. um uh, what does a your your run-of-the-mill implementation look like in terms of time cost just so we can give okay, the reality yeah. here in terms of we've got a client there uh, uh i don't know you've probably got a good example of, of yeah. something that shows kind got of it. what what a, an average yeah so, so like let's say we'd had that inquiry that initial inquiry you know i've got that medical business um if they come directly through to our team the, the, the team would normally do like a full scope discovery that would probably take about 20 minutes of time um yeah. that's something i'd encourage advisors to to get involved with it is a chargeable service that yeah. that you could offer like we do do it for free but nobody knows the business better than the advisor yeah. um or you'd hope um like the next step would be that we'd arrange some kind of demonstration for that client where the key stakeholders within the business would understand um what the package looked like how it connects to zero how the transactions flow through into zero and how other the operational sides of their business might integrate yeah. with 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 and these so you're and right that's that as well that's free as well yeah i'm not so trying to do a pitch but i'm trying to like not do a pitch like if, <laughs> yeah so if that is free all of the scoping and discovery is free um like at that point i think it, like once we've gone through a demo it's like a 50 50 at that point you know like we're not pushy salespeople. Mm. that's not their team of consultants what we found is if if we tried to do a sale when it wasn't a fit all you'd find is like a month later two months later they'd cancel subscription and you're right to point out it's all been free up until now so the last thing we want to do is invest all of that time in demoing scoping discovery to find yeah. out that they then churn after a month so like our intention is only to get great fit clients use unleashed so like yeah. assuming that the client is like delighted and they've got the budget which is um you know we start from 159 pounds a month so it is a fairly nominal uh, sum of money for all of these improvements um at that point they'd you know hit their their credit card details into the subscribe now at that point like all of the onboarding notes all the discovery and scope would be passed over to our onboarding team who are part of um our customer experience team and it's their job to get the client onboarded now yeah. Um, with that, it's it, if, like we, we give them three months to do it, um, but it's not like a hard and fast rule. But let's say it's like three months. The typical client would be up and running within somewhere between four and six weeks. Um, and our team would walk them through the process. So like that's everything from at what point do you, you know, use move my books to take your Sage data out into your zero. Um, yeah. At what point do you take some CSVs um, of your products to import into Unleashed? At what point do you connect the two together? You know, all of that is what our team will, work, will walk them through. Um, yeah. And that sounds like we do all of the work, but and this is the opportunity here is like <laughs> we're, we're we're not doing the work we're, we're showing them how to do it so yeah. we we're not the ones like taking the data out of sage and importing it into unleashed and zero um yeah. the client or the advisor would normally do that and yeah. that is a, a that's billable time yeah. um we don't do that bit so yeah like we, we're we start from 159 pounds a month and then the, that onboarding service is what we call managed onboarding um, and we split that payment over the first three months. A client has been with us, and I think it's about four hundred and twenty pounds, circa four twenty. So, yeah, it, yeah. yeah a, a nominal fee is what I'd say. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah. So uh, we, we're not we're not talking five figures in in that example, are we? Or or we could be if there's enough work for the accountant. And that that's that's the point. Yeah. I mean, we've we've got we've got clever, intelligent people um, uh, watching watching this, um, uh, and clearly just listening to what John said there, there there is clearly an opportunity for the advisor uh, to to generate a revenue stream from this whilst adding significant value to their client who probably doesn't want to be sitting um, with the Unleashed team as nice as they are uh, going through that process. But you as the advisor have the opportunity. And I think that's the key thing that we're trying to get out of, out of here. So the one thing that we've said we're going to do on here, John, that we, uh, I, th I think we've started to is this idea about giving people confidence to have a conversation with, with their client. Um, certainly from what you've said and what I've taken on board here is that, that you're, you're here to work with the advisors and, and that's where a lot of that confidence is going to come from. The, the, the job of the, the, the accountant the advisor in, in this piece is identifying the prospects. And I think we've covered off the fact that um, instinctively I think about inventory and I think about manufacturing and we've gone beyond that. Yeah. So it's not, it's not manufacturing, it's products. Um, uh, any, anything to add on on that that point around around confidence and and what you're doing to support accountants with that confidence? Yeah, for, for, for me, it's it's about uh, it is about confidence, but it's about being curious about clients. Like it, it, I'm sure all, the vast majority of accountants, if not all of them, who are on this webinar today, are of an advisor type who are actively involved in the business. I think it's a really sensible conversation to have to talk about the operational side of things. Mm. Um, and like we have got a UK team, like it's not just myself in the partnerships team, we've got other people in my team as well. And if you were to go on our website and go slash partners, there's live chat there with partner specialists who can answer whatever question. So if you've got a silly question, um, well, there are no silly questions, but if you think you've got a silly question and, you know, you don't want to email it in, you want to stay anonymous, you know, you don't want to phone up, just ping it to us. You, you know, like we're there to help, right? It's, it, it's pretty easy to contact us. Excellent. Marvellous. Um, so we're coming up to 10 o'clock. Uh, I, I, because I'm sharing. 10 o'clock? 1 o'clock. That, that's 10 o'clock. 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. It's nearly 1 o'clock. Um, uh, I can't see my screen. So uh, uh, if there's any questions, we'll jump to those in a moment. But in terms of, of kind of wrapping up almost here. So uh, um, uh, key takeaways uh, massive benefits, massive opportunity for, for you as the accounting partners here. Um, it doesn't always have to be complicated. Uh, and, and certainly, John has just talked us through. The, the support that the Unleashed team offer, um, particularly around the, the, the kind of discovery scoping, um, there's not a cost for that. So you do the bit of identifying the clients, have the conversations with the Unleashed team. Um, uh, it, there's massive opportunities for us here to identify revenue opportunities in terms of, of, of almost doing the whole handing between the client and, and what John and the Unleashed team uh, are doing. Um, We've, we've covered Unleashed support. Uh, Rowan is, is getting very heavily involved in, in supporting firms uh, uh, with, with identifying opportunities around inventory. Um, uh, so do get in touch with us if there's things that, that we can do. Uh, following on the webinar, we're going to send you a copy of the recording. Uh, and in that as well, we'll provide you a link uh, where you can download um, a copy of uh, Unleashed Manufacturing App Playbook. Um, which is a fantastic document, uh, and we'll cover things that, that John has, has talked about during the, uh, during the session uh, today. So uh, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Have we got any uh, any questions or anything coming uh, yet? It doesn't uh, uh, doesn't look like it. So uh, if anybody has any questions, um, uh, do do pop them into uh, the Q and A box. Um, if you haven't got any questions, um, then I would like to, uh, to thank uh, John uh, for joining us this afternoon. I know he said this morning again, this afternoon. Uh, so thank, thank you, well. John. Um, I was very confident that we were going to have a very enjoyable conversation. Um, it's completely <laughs> exceeded all expectation. Um, so oh, too <laughs> kind. Um, <laughs> and, I, and I'm sure that we'll get some really positive feedback from, from those that, that have attended. Um, I've got, got a oh. question. Um, uh, you mentioned WooCommerce, but it's not listed on the Unleashed marketplace. Uh, so does Unleashed integrate with WooCommerce? 
so we, do, we don't have a native integration with WooCommerce. Um, uh, yeah, it's quite common. What we tend to find with WooCommerce clients is um, the businesses are typically too small to, to use a platform like Unleash. Not always the case, um, but sometimes that can be the case. So like there's several, op there's several different options there. Um, there is like a managed integration through a company called Feature IT who did it in collaboration with us. So you can use that. Um, you could use something like Zapier. Zapier integrate both with Unleash and WooCommerce. Um, and there's another company called OneSAS who do it. So not a direct integration. Um, I, I think it's, it's a valid point though, if I may just say that about integrations. Like our stance has always been that we're not going to create, you know, a hundred different um, connections with every platform under the sun. And the reason for that is there are aggregation platforms like um, Zapier. We prefer to invest our time in making a product that's really easy to use rather than spend all of our development time in maintaining all of these separate uh, integrations. So that's why you won't see, you know, a, a Stripe, uh, sorry, a um, Square Commerce or whatever integration with us because we, we, we trust a platform like OneSAS or Zapier to do it. Excellent. Thank you, John. Um, Richard just posted a question, which I've replied to. Richard, uh, uh, I'm assuming you mean payments for collection, um, uh, in which case, uh, as I said in the answer, we use uh, primarily Go Carlos and Stripe uh, for that in Final Clark. Um, uh, if you are talking about making payments uh, on behalf of, of clients, we're, uh, we're doing some demoing at the moment around uh, 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 Credec and oh. Trello. Um, I've just seen another question as well. You've seen um, another question, right? Can you answer that one? I, so uh, like, I, I won't name um, the, the the firm here, but but yes. Yeah, so, so like, do you think it's safe as an advisor not to go to the likes of third parties who offer like the independent advice? Um, I, I can't tell you obviously what what you should do. Only um, kind of you can make that decision. What what I'd say is. Um, like a, a firm like the firm that you've mentioned um, isn't in the product day in, day out. And um, the team at Unleashed obviously is. Like whilst I said, I've been here for two years and I still don't know everything about the product. And I still have to ask our support team questions. Um, if I was looking to, to talk to one of these inventory specialists, uh, one of the questions I'd be curious about is when is the last time you've, in, you've implemented Unleashed? Um, perhaps like how many clients have you got who um, you are um, actively working with, with Unleashed? Um, because yeah, like it, it, you obviously need to have somebody who's got an up-to-date knowledge of the product. And if I struggle, then I can't see how any independent company, which isn't specializing in Unleashed, um, could possibly keep up to date with what's going on. So yeah, I don't, I don't want to knock any kind of third party company. Um, they've, they've definitely kind of got their space, but I think it is important to to talk to us as well because you know as i said earlier we don't want people to use unleash who aren't a great fit so whilst we do obviously want to sell our product you know we, we, we're not going to sell it to people who it's not a fit for it's just not in our best interest to no thank you john um and uh john uh thank you for your follow-up question uh yeah the, the stripe direct debit thing uh uh we're, we're kind of looking we're watching um uh, i think the uh, uh the challenge is when you've got 800 or so mandates set up uh, on, on one DD provider to change it may be a bit challenging, but we haven't got into detail yet of, of how that works and the pricing mechanisms uh, and everything else, but, uh, but, but useful question. So thank you. And thank you. Hey, um, so I think we have answered all of the, all of the questions. Um, so I'll thank you again, John. Um, no uh, worries at all. Thank you. Um, I think it's uh, it's been uh, really interesting, really useful, uh, and uh, hopefully we've kind of dispelled a few of those myths. You finally answered the question, um, <laughs> uh, which was which was great. So uh, uh, so thank you for for doing that. Uh, thank you everybody for taking the time out of your Tuesday afternoon to join us. We hope it's uh, it's been useful. Uh, do drop uh, either uh, John uh, and the team at Unleashed a line, uh, or indeed uh, myself or Rowan. Uh, App Advisory Plus, uh, if you have any feedback, comments, questions, um, we'd all be delighted to help. Ultimately, that's why we're here. So uh, uh, thank you all very much indeed for joining us. Thank you again, uh, John, and to the rest Thanks of your well. Unleashed team that helped pull this together. Um, have a good afternoon, everybody. Uh, take care. Thanks See you later. Bye.